the J ring and you can see the difference. Okay? This mixture was right on the edge. You really can't see it in the VSI, but it was on the edge. Okay, and we're going to pull it back a little bit with the viscosity modifying admixture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was it again? 28. 3.9. 3.9. 3.9 and 28. 28 inches of spread, so 700 millimeters of slump flow. ESI yeah. is excellent, probably zero. Looks good. ESI, zero to, zero one. to one. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and do the J ring test. You guys want to bring that concrete around over here? The as soon as the cone is pulled. Typically, we would try to be a little more careful about uh, filling the cone, but obviously we're, we're nervous with 100 people watching, right? right? Man, you're going to do the penetration, right? For, for some of the people that have been up front the whole time, can you, some of the others in the back actually want to get up and see, can you let them move in if they want to? Some of you might say, why is he taking it so taking his time so much? You can absolutely influence the value of this test. You're trying to measure segregation, and basically you're gonna measure pace depth at the top of that cone, right? If I just start throwing concrete in and start putting paste on top, then I'm going to influence the test value that I get. So the way Van's taking his time filling the cone to make sure that it's distributed. Yeah, actually that I am uh Usually that we put in about six liters in one bucket and then we go around right one. But I am small, so I put one by one. Okay? But, but the whole idea is to make sure that we get the replay. He's doing the test. You can move over here. 
Thank you. Over here. Come in front. The gentleman wants to move over, please, if you would give him some room. Okay, now we're about zero. Okay. So he just set it to zero. Thank you. Well, he's set up here. Okay. Uh, what I miss is? So, how much is that? Right now, about seven millimeters. So it's stable mix. Okay. It's not, it's not long. It's not sink anymore. Okay. If you now, we put more water inside. You sink now, and then we are in trouble. So, how long are you supposed to wait after uh, you fill the cone up? Uh, we need a 30 seconds. 30 seconds. But usually, if it's a stable, with 80 30 seconds, it, it already stopped. Okay? For example, sorry. For example, this now actually that is, it already stopped. We don't, if you don't make vibration, it will stop there. Right now, about 8, 7 millimeters, still the same. Okay? But, of course, if we have segregation, we keep continuing going down until it reach the coastal here. The laser of the laser can be stopped. Okay? So, what's the line track? It is right now the. Uh, well, about 8, 7, 8. Yeah, 7, about 7. Yeah. It means that it's stable. But the actual the rotor is moving, the vane is moving slowly, okay, very slowly. The whole test takes about what, a minute? Yeah. And what you're going to get now is a yield stress and a viscosity, and you see the plot of the curve. So we're going to look for the yield stress and the viscosity here, Bingham parameters. So you get the actual plot of the shear rate versus shear stress curve. It does an interpolation at zero shear rate, and that gives you the yield stress at zero shear rate. Okay, and it looks like the viscosity uh, yield stress is 3.7 and 3.7 and 42.5 viscosity. 42.5 for the viscosity. 42.5. Okay. So we're going to keep those numbers in mind. <laughs>
about 47 and a half inches. Forty-five and a half. Welcome to come over and take a look. The things I look at is that we have aggregate coming up all the way on the other side. No bug holes. No bug holes on the surface. Compare it to the aggregate in the bottom portion. So, in theory, if the aggregate content is the same, I have no segregation, okay? Now the art is, how do I get the aggregate here in the bottom? So we have to take the section off, okay? It's already getting pretty juiced up here. And, uh, and then we're gonna sit the aggregate out, wash it, and weigh it, and then likewise, we have to get the bottom section and sip out that aggregate, wash it, weigh it, and dry it. Yeah, let's do it now. Yeah. So I'll just connect these. Ready? Perfect. There. I had to pull that aside. I'll put it right in the bucket. Right here. Oh. Yeah, this that's concrete, almost perfect. This thing stiffened quite a bit, made it very easy. Normally, when you pull that top section, you get a lot of drippage. Now, we've got to keep this top section to sieve it over number four sieve. It's going to be washed and then patted dry and weighed. Second, this is going to go right all over the place. Yep. Put it there. Okay. I don't think this will help us. Do you have a bucket? Yeah, bucket. Ready? Set. Go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> all right, quick, get it away. All right. Oh, no, it can't go in there. Put it on the side. Yeah. That's it. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. So, you see why this is a laboratory test? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You don't do this on site every day? Don't expect this for a job site test. <laughs> That's right. And it actually says that in the standard that this is a, a laboratory yeah. specific yeah. test. Great. And the bottom will be saved for simming, washing, yeah. drying, That's right. and weighing. So you only save the top and the bottom. Right. That's the we'll do it. Show of hands, do you want to see these guys sim it and wash it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have the peanut gallery. It's pretty messy to do.